closing in on a shot at glory. Which one of these two teams will... Hello and welcome. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position alongside Stuart Robson. And we could be in for a semi-final classic. When you think of Spain and Italy, you think of the last European Championship and the semi-final meeting at Wembley. Stuart, you were there. Italy prevailed. Spain were maybe a bit unlucky. How's it? And there it is! The first goal of the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Can he make it count? And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Well, the free kick needed to be a lot better than that. Straight into the wall. Federico Chiesa showing a real desire to win it back. Plenty of support here. And he takes it on. Simple catch, really. Possession one. This attack looks highly promising. Oh, in with a chance. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Verratti. Nice and easy for the keeper. And take it away. And he's in. Oh, did so well to deny him. And now the delivery. And the danger still on. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, this is looking promising. Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. And a tidy tackle. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And the whistle is... So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Pedri. And take it away. He won the ball. an opportunity and a goal how about that as they increase their advantage and who's to say they won't be going to the
the final at this rate. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Nicely cut out. How can he take them on and beat them? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. He's lost it. Can they create something from here? Barella. Just the challenge that was required. Pedri. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. We're inside the final 15 minutes. And in with a real chance. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. And quite simply, wide of the target. Barella. Really good high press. Good technique displayed. Being pressed and pressed high. And so into the final five minutes. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. will be in the 2022 World Cup final. Well, that was an excellent display. The result was never in doubt, in my view. They controlled the tempo of the game, they looked threatening when they went forward, and they had the better individuals. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. But he served his team well in typical fashion, Giro Immobile. How would you sum up what he put into the game? Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.